Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships. This is going to be a pretty insane game. I'm going to commentate this game because there's a lot of thought process I have while I'm going into this. Uh, first off, I check what my ranges are. Um, I don't play, even though I've only been playing this game a little bit uh, for a couple months. I do not play low tiers very much anymore, so I have to check my low tier ships every once in a while. And this Kamikaze, even though it is one of my favorite low tier ships, um, I don't play it nearly as much as I used to. Uh, one thing you're going to notice, everybody on my team rushes over to the solo cap. This is one of the most frustrating things I have ever, ever run across. That is a, in my opinion, that is one of the worst maneuvers ever. You, there's two caps on one side. It's a lot easier to control two caps than it is to fight over with 5,000 people over one cap on the right-hand side. And you're going to see our team just go over there while our their carrier is spotting them, and they're just kind of going to get lit up. And one thing to note is you probably notice our team has no, no planes up. My carrier is just sitting there. And it turns out he's completely AFK. So uh, I noticed all their team going for B cap as well. And I'm thinking, maybe there's a destroyer over here. Maybe there's not. But I think Emily Bertine is AFK. So the second I get a chance, he's in my the cap I need to take. Um, and if he comes back, that's bad for me. And normally, uh, I'm not super worried about AFK players. If I have an opportunity to take them out, I obviously do. But I generally won't go out of my way. Um, but if I have an opportunity to take an AFK player out, I don't feel bad about it. Because if that player comes back, I know that I could be in a world of hurt. Especially um, a, an Emil Bertin. I mean, that's really, it's really solid at taking out cruisers. Especially if he spots me with all these other battleships at six kilometers away. I just want to get rid of him. And you can see we do. Um, and I need to go take that cap right away. I'm not going to go damage chase chasing. Uh, I'm kind of keep an eye on where they're going. I use them torpedo launchers. Not because I want to send torpedoes at them. I, you can tell if you use the torpedo launchers. You can kind of tell the, where, what direction they're going. And you'll see me do that a lot when I play uh, with any ship that's got torpedoes. I want to know which way they're going and what way they're moving. Now here is my thought is to sneak into the cap. We'll go back out and help our teammates. I know there's an aircraft carrier somewhere in the top middle of the map, but I haven't seen his planes in a little bit now, so I'm not necessarily sure exactly where he is. Now them destroy them battleships are completely heading the wrong way. Now, uh, for me to do anything about at the time here. Now you're going to see, um, as I'm getting ready, I, sh I was getting ready to go turn around, and then in the top corner you're going to see a plane come out. I am not a aircraft carrier chaser, but the one thing I will say, when he's that close, you can see he's only 8 kilometers away, really, he's right behind that island. And our aircraft carrier is completely AFK. I kind of want to even that playing field. And I'm really close. That's the closest ship to me. And also nobody else is going to be able to take him out. As you can see, our, uh, I believe, Emily Bertine moved up as well to try to take the cap. I understand that, but he's really not helping out. He isn't firing out on anybody else on the team. He just drove up here. And also, the aircraft carrier spotted him. And kind of uh, obviously now got me spotted. So I wasn't thrilled about that. So I'm going to head to the right side of the island because I know the our cruiser is probably going to go to the left. And then uh, so one of us is going to get him. And then all of a sudden here, uh, the whole show pops up. So uh, you'll see me. I'm going to instantly start moving. I'm checking where he is. I know he's going to start turning. Uh, he's spotted, so he's going to definitely start turning. So I'm not going to throw it on the on the white line like everybody would do. I know he's going to turn. I just don't know how much he's going to turn. 
and I see him start to turn uh, back to the right, and I want to close the distance. Um, on my commanders, I use the uh, perk that when you get closer to an enemy, you get even quicker, and you're going to see that uh, play effect here. Give me speed. There's the, the perk right there. I start shooting my guns just because I'm spotted. Even though these guns aren't super amazing, they have forever to reload and not a very much to tra tra traverse. Um, I'm going to start doing what I can to get rid of them. And uh, at this point, I wish our Emily Bertier would have actually started to turn around. He can still shoot while he's turning around. Um, but and I kind of wait to show, let off all my torpedoes till I see that. Okay, he's definitely slowing down a little bit. I'll throw my last set a little bit back. Turns out I didn't actually have to worry about that. Um, my first one's all hit. He slowed down way too late. Now, you're going to look back, and you're going to see uh, right now um, our teammate, he's behind the mountain, our cruiser friend, um, and he kind of frustrates me for the next little bit if you keep an eye on him. He acts like he's going to come out and help. He doesn't, and he goes back in. He kind of does some weird things. Um, the one thing is, is with me going to this side, we have, because I took them caps, even though we're getting obliterated right now, uh, ship-wise, points-wise, we're not doing that bad because I have, I did, I have, I've had control of these two caps on this side. All their ships went to the other side, and this is where you're going to see Putting all your ships in one deal for one cap is a, kind of not a great idea because uh, normally if there's more enemies alive, uh, you would see there's somebody always has an angle on you. Um, so right now it's essentially a 2v1. Our cruiser's way out of the fight. The air aircraft carrier's been AFK the whole match. And actually, you see me get in the chat, and I'm actually trying to get their AFK player. If he's around his, you know, I want him just yelling at him. Get, help us play. We have a chance to win this still. Um, but he doesn't. And one other thing is that I noticed that our battleship, he is sailing completely broadside uh, to the whole enemy team right now, if you look on the mini-map. Now, you're going to see our cruiser starts to come out like he's going to help. And now you'll see him completely turn around um, and then go back into hiding. This this cruiser really was super frustrating as a teammate. This is sometimes you get really good teammates, sometimes you don't. And I'm trying to let my battleship know, hey, there's a destroyer right there. I am not shooting my guns, and the reason I'm not, if I don't get help from that battleship and he goes and shoots another battleship, so I know I can't shoot. Um, because if I get spotted right now with all them guys right here, they are going to light me up. They are not that far off. Not only that, but I don't know where the other destroyer is. He may be close as well. And as you can see, oh, he's right there. So I'm really glad I didn't there. And my thought process is maybe I can take this T-21. I got more health than him. But if I can get him away from everybody else... Maybe, just maybe, I can kill him with my guns. And I, I always try to use my guns on the destroyer if I can, but it has to make sense. Right here, I get behind the island, so I know I'm spotted, but it's a lot harder shot for everybody else uh, and to get me. So I try shooting, and you can see I'm going to hit an island, so i got to turn out and disengage here. And it kind of frustrates me because I think I could have actually maybe have gotten him. Now, I've tried not to use my smoke because i got a feeling I'm going to need these. Uh, but, honestly, there's only six minutes left. So, in my head, I remember thinking there's not much time to need two smoke. So, I just pop my smoke, make sure I get away from him. And I am actually going to throw um, some torpedoes out. But you can see, it's basically, a, it was a 6v1 there until we got that, la that last kill. And also, I hit an idiot, or an island like an idiot, just trying to get torps out, not paying attention. That's one. Sometimes my map awareness isn't ideal, but normally it's better now than it used to be. Um, I was going to chase down that destroyer, but I noticed he didn't go for the cap. And my worry right now is the caps. He must have seen the aircraft carrier and went straight for it. 
Um, and you can see I threw some torpedoes sinking the the Emily Bertier. Yep, there he is. He's right. I figured he was going to try to be right behind that island. We got him. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. That destroyer is wasting him, his time on our carrier. Uh, but it saved our cap over there for a little bit. Now, kind of an issue here. Um... That Orion is closing in. I have no idea where the Musats, uh, the Mut Mutski is, and I know that he's probably in the smoke. That's the only thing I have to go off of. I know I definitely can see him before he sees me, so I'm trying to stay back away from the smoke just a little bit. Um, that Gengot's moving way out, so I don't really have to worry about him. Now that Orion, as you can see, he starts to turn to out a little bit. It's going to make my torpedoes miss, but now I see he's turning back in. So I'm going to throw some kind of near the actual line um, in case he continues at his pace. And here I just guess where he's going to be. And we are going to start to go back because I got a feeling that cruiser, that destroyer is going to head for my cap now. So I kind of want to get over there and get a decent fight in with him. Well, I, I, you know, before I get too many more enemies really near me. Um, so you can see he did stake the cap. And I did actually get the Musaki. Uh, that was not my intent with them torpedoes. I was trying to get the battleship. But you know what? Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. And that was it right there. Um, obviously, I know he's in the cap, the T-22. And now I decide, I think that Gingot's going for points to try to get in the cap at the same time. So I go ahead and throw out torpedoes at him, thinking he's going to drive in a straight line just to get to that cap as quick as he can. And you can see as that plays out, that's actually what he does. In fact... Uh, he does turn in, so he doesn't eat every torp, which is a pretty good move, move by him. Um, but, you know, he's pretty weak right now. Um, I, annoyingly, right now, I can't see that other destroyer. Otherwise, there he is right there. Otherwise, I probably would have even kept moving in. We'll get a spread of torpedoes out just so that um, we have a chance at that T-21. And now I'm going to try to shoot him. The problem is, is now that game got really close, and this is why I wanted a 1v1 battle with the uh, T-21, because um, outside of that, you're going to see that battleship takes a big chunk out of me here in a second, and that's why I generally will try to win them battles outright, and you're going to see there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do, but that was a big chunk. So I get behind the island, try to get away from everybody, now this is when I have the game won. I don't actually have to change, chase these guys. Uh, once we got rid of a couple of them guys, you can see we're up on points. Um, our, our cruiser has decided to help out now. This is the one really cool thing. He did, he did actually help finish off that Orion. And um, also, he's taking the cap over there. So while in the beginning he didn't play... Super amazing at the end. He was actually helpful here at the very end. Um, and keeping that game get spotted for me. And I know that I'm just going to drop my uh, smoke here. Hoping that um, I can just take some shots at the game get. But then I realize, oh, the T-22 is coming at me from behind the mountain. So I'm like, ah, I got torpedoes on the way. I don't have to do anything too crazy here. I just need to stay alive. Um, I'm pretty sure Emily Bertier would have stayed alive, but I don't want to risk doing anything dumb. I wish I had led that guy a little closer on torpedoes. Uh, if I would have led him just a hair farther, and I, I knew he was going to accelerate more, I would have obviously probably had that kill. Um, turns out, I didn't get it, but that's okay. I'm not too mad about that. I'm not a kill hunter, although we could have had six in this game. And you can see it detected, so I know he's behind me, but I'm not spotted, so that means I'm definitely far enough away. Uh, now, with a little bit of time left, hoping he's just straight charging me, I'm going to dump a set of torps out quick and then try to use my guns to finish him because I don't want to get spotted till the very end 
just in case our cruiser is almost dead as well. I almost kill the T22, but really excited game. Uh, 145k damage isn't a super amount, but in a destroyer at tier 4, while you're winning the game with points, it is a good amount. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, folks.